just sitting out here on the front steps watching the sun come up. Still in my PJs. I hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. There's a mockingbird in the uh, dogwood tree there. We were watching her yesterday, or he, him or her. She's trying to carry this great big, longer than its body stick up to the nest. We, we were talking about it, and Scott and I were talking about how it's probably the male bird, and the female bird said, told him, now go get the biggest stick you can find. And every time he shows up with a stick, she tells him it's not big enough. <laughs> That pop was my knee. I move down closer. For, maybe y'all can hear me better. Try not to holler too loudly or talk too loudly because the guys are still sleeping in the house. Oh, I love this time of day. It's my favorite time of day. You don't have all that traffic noise in the background. You can hear the uh, the tractor down at the metal metal shop metal recycling area and this, there's a steel factory that does rebar not too far from the house and you can hear their furnace going but early on a Saturday is the best time to sit outside not a lot of people up and about you can hear the birds better sometimes I wish we were up on our 10 acres boy we'd really hear the animals then Little blue jay. All in the morning doves are singing. Looks like it's going to be a really nice day. watching Neri's video on the pocket letter she's gotten in and uh, getting lots of really good ideas so hopefully I can get some pocket letters done this week. That's a Carolina wren, a little bird about two and a half, three inches, and it just can make the loudest noise. Its whole body quivers. It's the cutest little brown bird with a long tail on its little body. Not sure what that one was. Maybe. I hear a cardinal and a mockingbird. Our cedar tree out front over here. Let me turn y'all real quick. That cedar tree there. Um, oh gosh, Greg was little and we were homeschooling and we went on a field trip to the uh, Christmas tree farm and they gave me two seedlings. One survived. And that's how big it's gotten since we got it. It was only maybe 12 inches tall when we planted it. That's how big it has grown. And um, I planted the hawthorn cherry in front of it. The dogwood tree was um, transplanted from a planter that used to be over in front of the laundry room. And I just moved it over there and it's grown that much too. Because we've been here for... Um, almost... 19 years. It's hard to believe that much time has passed already. Blackberries are starting to ripen. We've got that little raised bed over there by Scott's car. It's got blackberries and spearmint growing in it. And the spearmint's trying to choke out this strawberry. I mean, not strawberries, but blackberries. But we've... 
We found a patch, a great big patch of blackberries, not too far from the house. We need to go check on them sometime this weekend and see if they're ready to pick because we want to make some blackberry jam and nobody else will pick them. They'll just be, you know, bird food or just drop to the ground. So we're going to go pick some berries and make some jam. My boss wants a, my new boss. <laughs> um, well, she's been my boss now for about six months. It's just hard to believe I've had this many bosses in this many years. But that's all right. Just love this time of day. Look, there comes the sun. A new day. Oh, well, the mockingbird couple's out and about. They must have babies up in the tree. She's down there underneath the dogwood tree. There she goes up in it. Oh, I hear a motorcycle moving about. And the bees have started working. I can hear them. I don't know what these bushes are that have gotten so big. They were here when we moved in. But they have blooms on them and the bees are just to work and I can hear them buzzing along. That side of the porch I didn't get trimmed and you can see my porch rail. We need to sand it and paint it. I hope everybody really does have a wonderful weekend. It's just the rain we had this past week was a bit much. And I've been having some neck pain, so I don't know if it's weather related or what, but if it flares real bad like it did late in the week this week, last night I didn't get too much sleep. I got in the recliner and after I took an over-the-counter all-day pain reliever and it's better now, but if it gets that bad again this next week, I'll go to the doctor and make sure nothing serious is going on. It's just, oh man, I just can't lay down and no matter how many pillows I have or how few pillows I have or how I plump them up or how I take them away or whatever, my neck is just, oh, it hurts. Hopefully tonight will be better. Scott had to put the names on the graves out there under the tree. Tesla and Nikki are buried next to each other. I still can't believe Tess is gone. We miss him so much. I love the morning doves. Okay guys, I won't I won't keep you anymore. I just wanted to wish you all a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye.